minute of 75. Uh, guys, I just want to come through and give my immediate reaction to the Hamilton and Hibs game just now. It ended in a 1-1 one -one draw. Uh, I'm getting sick of this now. I am getting so sick of this, it is unbelievable. The title of the video sees it perfectly in my eyes. This is virgin on the farcical. How much we are having to put up with now. This is ridiculous. I'm sorry. I... I said after the game against Celtic, do you know what? I'm, I'll give him another chance. Give him another chance at the end of the day and see how he gets on. Now, look at this. Look at the way we played today. Get what I mean? And can I just say, I understand people saying, played well in the first half. That's fine. You didn't win games in the first half. You win games at the end of the 90 minutes. Okay? We're not seeing games out. But what I heard as well, listening to the game on the radio as well, was the fact that Hibs, as soon as you went a goal up, thought, that's it, job done. We do not know how to score a second goal. When was the last time we actually scored a second goal? Get what I mean? This is what I'm talking about. It's virgin on the ridiculous now. It is virgin on the embarrassing. How we can go through so many games. We've lost nine points this season for winning positions more than any other team in this league. We have won one game out of our opening nine fixtures. That in itself is embarrassing. When was the last time you could honestly say Hibs went out and comprehensively thumped a team? Because I can't remember it. We've got a semi-final against Celtic coming up in the next fortnight. We'll get thumped in that game. Or it'll be a case of we'll, we'll do what we've done against Kilmarnock. We'll sit back for 90 minutes, hope to take it to penalties and hope that we win the lottery. Is that what we've became now? Hoping that we get points. Sorry, team selection today was absolutely minging. I understand him dropping Scott Allen because he's injured. That's fine. If he's not 100% fit, that's fine. I get that. But no going with two, two strikers. I'm sorry, Deutsch can't do everything on his own. That's abundantly clear that Deutsch can't do everything on his own. Deutsch is good at holding the ball up. He's good at trying to win headers. That game, the day, probably would have suited him if we had went long. Right? To my knowledge, I don't think we went long. Okay? But, as I've already said, no width in the team today. I had Horgan there, but no width. What's the point in having him? Get what I mean? I just, I can't, I just can't work this team selection out. I can't work out why he brings on Canberra in the 8th to 8th minute. What's a striker meant to do in two, 2 minutes plus injury time? What's a striker actually meant to do in that time? I've heard people say, aye, but he was in the stand today. So what? He can communicate with his bench. If he's not happy, communicate with the bench and try and change it up a wee bit. He's clearly not done that. And now that says we're back to drawing t against a team like fucking Hamilton. Hamilton. He all teams. A team at the end of the day who I'm sorry and I've said it for time and time again. What do they bring to the top flight? They bring nothing. They've got a stadium that's got two stands. They're regularly outnumbered by away supporters. They take 20, 30 people to away fixtures. What is the point in this football team? They've got an embarrassing plastic pitch. What is the point in this football team? And these are the teams that are stopping us from winning. Have a word, heckin' bottom. Have a word, the Hibs board. Ken, what I mean? I'm sorry. How long are we going to have to put up with this? How long, how damaging is it going to be to our season? We as supporters can see that this is not working. The management team at this moment in time is not working. We've gave them all the time that we can. It's time for change. Who that is, I don't know. I'll leave that open to the floor. How much more time do we give them? 
I wouldn't give up. I wouldn't even give him another day in charge. Never mind another game. Canberra spoke about leaving because he's not getting game time. Canberra, who for whatever reason you might not like him, I know I've heard people say he's lazy, he's not got a touch, he can't have the ball. The guy scores goals. He needs support, which is what he had when he had that that midfield trio behind him last season. Uh, sorry, the season before last, I beg your pardon. He had McLaren beside him the season before last. Even McLa having McLaren back in last season, that didn't work because he wasn't getting service. We now have no service in the midfield areas. We are leaking goals right, left and centre. We have no spine of the team. I'm not convinced by the goalkeeper as well. And I'm sorry, we're talking about the fact that Rocky has now lost his place. I'm sorry... Anybody who tells me Rocky Marciano isn't one of the better goalkeepers we've had in easily the last 10-15 years needs to go and have a good look at themselves. The man easily is the best goalkeeper we've had for a long, long time. Chris Maxwell, unfortunately, he might be a good goalkeeper, but he's no, in my opinion, as good as Rocky. I'll leave that to the floor. If people want to disagree with me on that sense, crack, crack on. But I didn't understand again why he was dropped. He's asked about his future, and rather than give a yes or no answer, we'll have to wait and see what how, how things go. My theory on this is, Maxwell is out of contract in the summer. He's going to keep Maxwell till the end of the summer, sign him and sell Marciano. That's my theory on it. And if we do that, we're knackered. I'm sorry, as I've already turned in and said, we are what? I don't know. 12, 14 weeks away for the transfer window being open. I don't know how many weeks. Then he, then he slate me for my maths or whatever. But I know what that team needs. You watching this video will know what that team needs. Every hub supporter will know what that team needs. But the one person who makes all the decisions has the, is on the same wavelength as us. I just can't work out why we are putting up with us. It's gone on for too long. We need change. We need reform, if it must be, if it must be told. Because at this moment in time, I mean, as I've already said and I've said it in previous videos, right? New owners now, debt free, everything, everything like that. You know, all the ace, hubs are holding all the aces, in my opinion. And at this moment in time, we're needing, we just need something different. As I've already said, who that would be coming in, I'll leave that to the floor. I've heard Jack Ross's name being mentioned, personally speaking. I don't know if that's the case. I don't know if Jack Ross would be a good fit for Hibs. I could be wrong. Change my mind. I'll leave that again open to open to the floor and I'll leave it open to debate. But as I've already said, I just can't, I can't work out, I can't work this out. I've spent weeks now trying to work out what these what he does during the week and how he puts it into practice on a match day because it just must not it doesn't work we are terrible right now we need another manager and who again who that is i'll leave that to the floor and we just ah, oh, i'm raging because again this is a game that we should be winning this shouldn't even be an argument as to if we win the game or not. We should be winning this. I'm sorry, Hamilton aren't in anywhere near the stature of the club that we are. And anybody who says differently needs to stay off the glue. It's as simple as that. But anyway, right. I, I, I genuinely am. I'm going to stop moaning now because I can just feel myself getting boiled up and it's no fair. So I'm going to shut up now. Uh, I'll stop. Take a breath. And that'll be that. Anyway. Right guys, I've gave my opinion on the current situation at Hibs. I've gave my opinion on the, the, the game of the day. If you've enjoyed my rant and ravings as you usually do, let's be fair, give the video a thumbs up. It helps me out when you do that. Subscribe to the channel, Money Minute 75. Click the bell icon beside the subscribe button. That will let you know when I upload. It's as simple as that. Find me on Twitter. It's at Murray1875. Look for me on Instagram. It's Murray Minter 75 as well. Uh, and I will just see you for the next home game. And uh, we'll see how we got on for there. But until then, I'll see you later.